the containment booms, laid around a damaged vessel at Pasa Panjang Terminal, were not intended to fence in the oil that had been spilt, but rather were preventive in nature against any further spillage from the vessel. Said Transport Minister Chi Hong Tat on June 24. A cargo tank on Singapore flag bunker vessel Marine Honor was damaged after the vessel was hit by Netherlands flagged dredging boat Vox Maxima, causing 400 tons of oil to leak into the sea at about 2.20 p.m. on June 14. Speaking at a press conference on June 24 to give updates on the cleanup, Mr. Chi said the response times by the Maritime and Port Authority of Singapore MPA and its contractor. TT Salvage Asia were in line with international industry practices. After MPA was alerted to the incident at 2.22 p.m. on June 14, its first patrol craft arrived at the site at 2.33 p.m. Mr. Chi said the patrol craft sprayed dispersants on the oil sheens after confirming that oil had spilled into the water. Dispersants break down the oil to pave the way for subsequent cleaning operations at sea and on land, before the oil hardens over time and becomes tougher to remove. After the first patrol craft was deployed, MPA and its contractors sent 11 more vessels to help with spraying dispersants and monitoring oil slicks. Mr. Chi added. MP also ensured the crew were safe and no further oil would be spilt after the initial gush and confirmed the vessel would not sink, added Mr. Chi. The authority then activated TT, whose boss was contacted at 2.55 p.m. to lay booms around the site. The Straits Times reported on June 22 that it took several hours for TT to mobilize truckloads of gear from its warehouse into us. Send them across to Marina South Pier and determine if it was safe to lay the booms around the ship. Nighttime conditions and bad weather were among the reasons cited for why it took longer to deploy the booms. Each 3M section of the booms weighed more than 100 kilograms when inflated. TT finished laying 200M of booms around Marine Honor at 5.15 a.m. on June 15, nearly 15 hours after the incident. Mr. Chi said, During this time, we must expect a significant amount of the oil that has been spilled into the sea to be carried by tidal currents and waves to other locations away from the incident site. This is unavoidable, especially during more serious oil spill incidents, like what we experienced on June 14. The containment booms, he added, can help to catch some of the oil that remained near the incident site and did not float elsewhere. But this is also not 100% foolproof because the tidal currents and waves can carry the oil. Below or above the booms, said Mr. Chi. On why preventive booms were not laid across all of Singapore's waterfronts and coastlines. Mr. Chi said it is not feasible to deploy booms across the country's entire coastline. Deploying booms across the entire southern coastline of Singapore from Pasa Panjang to East Coast would require more than 46 kilometers of booms, he added. Mr. Chi also noted that booms would require regular maintenance and replacement as they are subject to weather conditions and wave movements and can snap. Replying to a question on possible improvements to response times, Mr. Chi said the immediate priority for MPA's response was to ensure that the vessel was safe and no further oil leak from the damaged tank. Containment booms are floating devices that create a barrier to trap oil. In all, more than 3-400m of booms have been laid to help contain trap oil from flowing back into the sea and prevent oil remnants from being washed ashore and into Singapore's inland canals. For instance, 1-500m of booms were deployed at the three beaches on Sentosa Island, the entrance of Keppel Bay Marina, off Labrador Nature Reserve, East Coast Park and West Coast Park as at June 17. On June 24, 
SD reported that a captain with nearly 30 years of sailing experience had suggested placing containment booms around ships at anchorages as a preventive measure. This is done at some ports in the United States and Netherlands. Responding to a question about the captain's suggestion, Mr. Chi said, based on our checks with industry players, they don't think this is practical or feasible. It is also not practiced in other major ports around the world. As there are 1,000 vessels in Singapore's port at any time, he noted that it would take a lot of time and money to deploy boons as a preemptive measure. He added that these boons have to be kept whenever ships leave the port. Or may cause navigational safety concerns to vessel traffic if they snap or float away. Hence, he said these boons are used only as preventive measures when there are problems such as oil spills.